and it's about 500 pax. It's really, you know, difficult to satisfy all of the guests. Uh, but still, yeah, I know we have. Oh, Hi. Gina, what's wrong with you? Right. I'm so stressed out. Right. The general yeah. manager has given our department this project, okay. and we have to do this proposal, which is going to somebody in the global office of the hotel, and we have to work on these innovative strategies. Ah, and I'm just so confused because it's a big responsibility, and there's a lot on the line. She I'm so confused. You shouldn't be confused. Remember, and when we were in college, um, what for guest and hotel and guest experience, Dr. Ah, Presberry? I, yeah, yeah, I yeah, remember this subject. Yeah, she gave us oh to do that God, strategies so and all. Yeah, remember? Yes, 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 yes. And then we like mine was we were in the same group. Yeah, we. And same then group. Oh. mine was service recovery. Yours was like I oh, guess, custom experience. Yeah, and oh, yes. technology. Yeah, is a technology development. Oh yeah, oh, we absolutely yeah, can yeah. use this. You know? Do you think so? Do you yeah. think that will work? Obviously. Obviously. Okay. Would you guys? Yeah. Would you guys be willing to help me on it? Definitely. Of course. Okay, let's work on those charity. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Great. let's go. Yeah. yeah, it is hard. I don't know why, but yeah, it's very hard. Mm -hmm. And it's been extremely tiring and hectic at work as well. We have so many events coming up and the boss is getting really frustrated. Sheena, it's very hard. Can you go there and talk? Sure, sure. Oh, oh so much better. Now, now sorry. So how is how are things in your department? It's good. It's a little bit busy because now Christmas time is coming, yeah. so we have a lot of events. Mm -hmm. But now, but still, it's fine. I'm enjoying it. What about you? How's your project going? Oh, the project is coming better than expected. But I'm a little stuck with the service recovery uh, strategy because I'm trying. I'm finding it very difficult to convince the management that it's a really good strategy and that it can help us gain customer loyalty. Is there any idea that you can come up with? Uh, do you remember, I don't know whether you remember or not, but last year there was a guest who was a bit stressed out because we were late in delivering a room to him. Uh, Mr. Oliver, if you remember? Yes, yes, I do, I do, because it became a very big deal and we had to come up with complimentary spa treatment yeah. and we had to um, give him her complimentary breakfast for the entire week, which isn't normally what we give and in the yeah, package. And that too, it in meant our a lot of best fun. restaurant of our yeah, yeah. But, but at least I think it paid off at the end. I now definitely have seen him at least. Month, yeah. Yeah. Definitely seen him at least seven or eight times in just about a year or so, and I think that's a really good um, idea. Yeah, I think we should yeah, um, try this. Present and that. Him, yeah, yeah. You were the person handling the guest, right? Yeah. Would you like to come and share your experience with them? Because I think what's really important on how you deliver the presentation. So it'll be great if you can come. And share yeah, them. I would like. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Yeah. Can I help you with something? You know, I've been waiting here for about 30 minutes just to get the key to my room. I don't know why when I come to the front desk, you guys say that there's no room for me. And I just fly about 8 hours to come here and just wait here with all my stuff. I'm really sorry about the delay, Miss Oliver. I'll be sure to check on it. Just give me a moment. I'm pretty sure there's some kind of confusion. Just give me a moment, please. Okay. I'm really sorry. We have a bit of a situation. So, Miss um, Oliver, she's been waiting for about 30 to 45 minutes now. So, actually, the problem is that um, she was supposed to arrive earlier as per our schedule. Okay. We made a mistake and did not get the flight mm -hmm. details into our profile. So, um, we declared her as a no show and have okay. given it to another guest. And right now, we don't have any standard rooms available and she's just been waiting and she looks really curious. I'm not sure what to do with, with you. Yeah, I'll talk to them. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, I know. I haven't got to the room. Maybe I will come late. I see. You can start without me. Okay? Okay, bye. I'm sorry for the inconvenience caused to you. I 
my colleague just told me that uh, she told me about your problem. I'm for uh, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Yeah, actually, there was some confusion because uh, in our record, you were you were, like, you were about to arrive yesterday mm -hmm. at five, but there was some confusion happened and my flight changed. Because of that, we declared it no show. And right now, we don't have any standard room. But we are trying to upgrade you to the suite for your entire stay. So I just want, like, could you please wait for 15 20 minutes more? Oh, it's. Until then, you're waiting, you can enjoy the breakfast on the house. And we are also providing you spa for your, like, throughout your uh, stay because you were tired traveling. Okay, I it's just the last 15 minutes I will wait. Yeah, sure, definitely. I'll make sure that you get to me as soon as possible. Okay. Thank you. Service are both tangible and intangible. In daily life, no service encounters are precisely alike. Hence, increases discrepancy from each service encounter. Service failure is usually described as service that falls below customer expectations. There, it has adverse effect on their satisfaction level for service encounter. Therefore, here service recovery comes. It involves taking proactive and reactive actions by the organization to get things right for the affected customers. In order to conduct effective service recovery, the organization must understand the implication of service recovery and take specific set of actions. Service recovery paradox refers to situations of recovered customers actually exceeds that of customers who have not encountered any problems with the initial service. Nevertheless, a very good service recovery leads to higher overall satisfaction and positive word of mouth. The video showed earlier depicted the same. Learn model is one of the most effective strategy of customer complaint handling. I got this feeling inside my bones. Another meeting. <laughs> yeah, I heard that tomorrow we have some meeting. Good afternoon everyone. I'm so sorry. I know I do this very often and I'm taking up some of your lunch break, but please bear with me. It's extremely important. We have a proposal to submit to the CEO of our company tomorrow and I just wanted to run it by you guys. Just get a bit of feedback and maybe a small brainstorm session only if you're up for it. So I mainly want to talk about uh, customer experience mapping. I'm pretty sure you guys have a vague idea of what it is, but mm -hmm. basically I want to start with something really basic, which is you all must have studied about Pine and Gilmore suggesting the concept of the experience economy. Mm -hmm. So the experience economy it was basically uh, proposed in 1999 mm -hmm. and it's, it explains how we've moved from goods and services to creating memorable experiences and you guys are the ones delivering that experience and yes our hotel is doing extremely well but we have to face reality and that's we are competing with many people and many other hotels which are doing a better job than us in some ways and even though our sales are you know hitting all the targets this is something that we really have to start focusing on so that we um, you know get gain more customers and make them stick with us forever so what exactly is customer experience mapping so customer service mapping basically gives you a pictorial representation of what a customer journey is a customer experience starts right from the second he does some research on the hotel or our restaurant and when he decides to come to our restaurant it can be from reviews and from articles or simply by looking at the pictures of our amazing hotel 
and from the time they enter our hotel we start recording every single touch point these touch points are basically every single moment of truth where the customer has a chance to make a judgment on our service our service and our product which is being delivered by you guys every single day it's important for you to make that record and it's important for you to get a feedback from the customer wherever possible so that you not only understand each individual customer behavior but at the end of the day you know what customers are going for which facility are they using more what is it that they like what is it that they are visiting the hotel for or are they coming to sydney for any particular party is there anything we can do to enhance the guest experience and I would like to move on to the presentation to explain to you guys as to how exactly you can map this customer journey and the reason why I want to talk to you guys about it is because you're the ones who are interacting with the customer on a daily basis and I wouldn't only entrust this with my managers but each and every one of you because that's a more holistic approach mm -hmm. and that way we can be more successful in implementing this strategy. So we can start off with the presentation now. What is customer experience mapping? A customer experience map documents your customer experience from the eyes of the customer, helping you to understand not only how customers interact with you today, but also identifies improvement opportunities and potential problems. One way to differentiate yourself from the competition is to increase your understanding of what your customers experience when they interact with your business. This opens up avenues for making effective improvements and innovations to your services or products in the industry. So how does the mapping process work? The process is extremely simple. Every interaction between the employee and the customer at all stages, right from when the customer makes a booking to when the customer leaves the hospitality organization must be clearly recorded. So what do you do with the experience map? There are four simple steps. First, you uncover the customer behavior and interactions at every step and clearly understand them. Second, you chart the course and note down the key insights learned from the service delivery process. The third, you create a story and visualize the customer journey from the eyes of the customer. And finally, you use the customer map to innovate new products and services in your hospitality organization. It is important to clearly understand the building blocks of a customer map. What are the customers doing? What actions are customers taking to meet their needs and what are their key behaviors? Second, what are the customers thinking? What did they expect? What is their frame of mind? How are they evaluating their experience? And the third, what are the customers feeling? What are their emotions? Are they satisfied? Were there any highs and lows in their customer experience? To sum up, customer experience mapping is the perfect combination of quantitative research and qualitative research. Many insights can be drawn from reviewing web analytics and the customer journey. It is important to look deep into the data sources that reveal what exactly customers are doing and where, how they behave when they interact with your service personnel. Thank you for being with us today. So can you start off about um, talking to us about the economic situation of the hotel industry and how it's evolved over the past couple of years? Okay, first uh, thank you for having me here. And uh, you know, the hotel has been impacted massively by the technology development. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, in order to improve performance through cost control and therefore increase profitability, the technology applied have been playing a major role of the game. And uh, the multi-dimensional and the 
test analysis have been conducted very quickly and more efficiently and especially with the large chain hotel just like you know Starwood or Accor and um, in my opinion I think the technology in, in innovation um, just like they change the face of the hotel industry from so uh, can you just tell me a little bit about how technology has influenced the hospitality industry and helped companies earn profits? Okay, so the first, actually, I think the hotel management have been somehow under investing or underestimating the importance of technology innovation, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. You know, the hotels need information technology and communication to manage the inventory and the technology development is used to manage and process information also protect the company database from the competitive rivals in the industry mm -hmm. and the hotel chain in particular is a system called group-wide system to focus on the management of a single property as well as the distribution through a variety of electronic distribution channels okay. and, uh, most hotel properties around the world operate a property management system that enables them to integrate the back office operations. Mm -hmm. go. So a little more about technology. Can you tell me how companies can actually use technology in terms of uh, cost saving benefits? Uh, okay, about the cost saving, you know, the company can save the expenses from improved capacity management and mm -hmm. operation efficiency or, you know, prove, provide a better database management right. uh, just because the technology cost for many database is minimized. And uh, to answer your question, I think it's important to provide hotel business the technology system that works for many appliances mm -hmm. within the company itself and to make sure that all connected work better and actually function. Mm -hmm. So technology is definitely something that all hotel companies or any other company in hospitality should implement? Yeah, absolutely. So there is immense talk about creating memorable experiences in hospitality. So how do you think technology can help companies in doing this? Oh, okay, it's a really good question. You know, the most important thing, I think that every company in the hospitality industry have to remember is the whole business depends entirely on satisfied customer. Exactly. And um, which means that unless you satisfy them totally, and they're not going to come back. And uh, today, the CRM system or, you know, customer relationship management system is a capable appliance to help the company managers improve the customer relationship and retention. Mm -hmm. And even after they get finished their journey of service, you know, there is an example like um, you separate your birthday at the restaurant, at the hotel, and when you come back home after the party, you get an email from this hotel said that um, you have been given a, a night at this hotel for free and uh, the manager can do this because they have all the data of the customer and you know a little surprise like this can help you your company win a loyalty customer for a lifetime okay thank you the hospitality industry depend entirely on satisfied customer which require hotel manager a sufficient understanding of the elements and strategy that have the influence for the firm overall profits. Various tools have been researched to enhance customer experience and raise profit at the same time. It can be seen that technology development has played an essential role in terms of helping the company achieve that long-term goal. The technology can begin with the case of using online analytical processing tools at financial departments which allow them to sort and query customer database from various files. And according to Porter Value Chain Model, to create value for the customers, the company should carry out a set of activities. One of the support activities that reinforce the primary function in terms of increased margin of the firm is technology development. The technology development can be seen in many forms, such as equipment upgrade, software application hardware applications, 
and techno technical knowledge training regarding creating more output value for the customer. The CRM system, namely customer relationship management with a capable appliance, has the hotel manager improve customer relationship and retention, as well as analyze customer interaction to drive sale growth. One of the examples of the outcome technology appliance is the Empire Hotel New York and Bar Vision Hotel. The two hotel desire a hotel logs book. We have the duty manager and employee assign tasks automatically. And the record of the three hotel in the hotel in three years so that there are total seven hundred and fifty thousand dollar cost saving from declared paperwork, raised productivity and capability to recognize and analyze system problems and it can be seen that the upturn in repeat is indeed directly related to the improved efficiency of the hotel operation. It's the evident review that the daily use of technology innovation becomes the burden chain and is it applied in many phases of the hospitality industry. The report of Intelligent Corporation so that more than 50% of the survey hoteliers are already planning, planning to expand their budget for technology investment in the year 2006. In short, technology development can be implemented to increase sales growth rates and at the same time enhance customer experience.